Hey everyone, uh, my name is Jason McLaughlin. I'm a senior here at Bloomsburg University. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today, today about the growth and evolution of Snapchat and uh, its impact in today's world, especially in social media. Uh, let me give you a little background information on it. It all started with the three guys they met in college at Stanford University. Uh, Evan Spiegel and Reggie Brown, they met freshman year and they joined a frat together where they met their third partner, Bobby Murphy. It started when Brown, he was complaining that he sent a picture to a girl that he regretted doing and he wanted it to just disappear. And pretty much the idea just sparked from there and uh, they all worked together to create something called Pictaboo, which was what Snapchat was originally called, but they changed the name. But it, that, that, that launched in July 2011 and it only had 127 users by the end of that summer, which is absolutely nothing compared to what it is now. Uh, a little drama got started between the group. Um, Brown and Spiegel, they got into a fight about equity. Brown wanted 30% of the company, and uh, Murphy and Spiegel disagreed, so they booted him from the group. He would actually, Brown would actually come back to um, sue them, though. But then once they booted them, booted him, they uh, changed their name to Snapchat, and people loved the idea, especially high school kids, because high school kids, they know once you put something on the internet, it's pretty much on there forever. But that's different with Snapchat. You you can um, it's not out there forever. It's only up for you can have it out there for ten seconds if you want or five seconds, whatever you want, and uh, start to build from there. It became it became so big that even Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, tried to compete with it by creating a, a poke on Facebook, but it didn't work. And Snapchat continued to grow bigger and bigger. But then he even tried to buy it for three billion dollars, but they declined because they know it was worth much more than that. In 2014, the company was actually valued at $10 billion, and uh, it continued to grow, update, and evolve to entertain and keep and attract more users. 8 billion photos and videos are viewed every day. Snapchat estimated, is estimated to have about 100 million users, but Spiegel thinks it's well over 200 million users due to the fact that people watch college football games on the app over their own television. There's a lot of perks to Snapchat. Um, Simply, you can share moments with people. Um, you can take a picture or video and send it to your friends or send it to whoever you want. Uh, that's pretty much what it started out as, but it's they updated it more and more. Well, I think, personally, is probably the one, of, one of the best updates for Snapchat is a thing called Discover, which is a great news outlet. Um, there's things on there like National Geographic, ESPN, CNN, the NFL Network, BuzzFeed, MTV. It's pretty much you can scroll through whatever interests you. You can click on that, and go through. It's like a it's like a story, and uh, if it interests you, you can click at the bottom and read more on it. There's articles for them. Uh, so that's pretty great. Um, you can create stories, which I think it's pretty much just like a timeline, but with pictures and videos. Uh, it's pretty much like tweeting, but it's just visual uh, for everyone to see or whoever you want to see. Uh, they have filters out there, which is pretty cool for telling you how hot or cold it is outside or how fast you're going miles per hour. Um, they have a facial recognition, so people can click on that and have your face and turn into different things. It's pretty cool. It's pretty easy to find friends through, because uh, a lot of people have it on their phones, and you can just go through your contact list, see who's on Snapchat, and friend them, and, uh, or you can go through Facebook friends, or their username, or they actually give you suggested friends. Um, you can use the app, actually, to make phone calls or texts, which is pretty cool, so it's like using your phone, but it's on the app. Uh, there's a memory feature, too, where you can take a picture, video, and you can save it for later posting if you want. But... How Snapchat has to deal with emergent media is it's pretty simple. Social media is a huge part of emergent media, and Snapchat's a huge part of social media. Uh, there's different ways of getting news out there, like I said, which is a big part of media, of media getting news out there and finding different ways to attract users and get them to read the stuff. It's a huge part of entertainment, too. People are on their phones all the time, and everyone goes back to Snapchat. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people go to Snapchat every single day, multiple times a day. And we're just in, we're in, we're, we are an evolving world. We're evolving into technology. Technology is advancing more and more every day. And uh, it used to be traditional methods like newspapers and books and stuff, but we're becoming technology, and it's forcing us to innovate and adapt. And I think that's what Snapchat is, um, especially with the younger generation using technology. Uh, they're starting at younger ages, so um, it's pretty important. Uh, Snapchat, it's patterns of development in mass media industries, it's it's right there. They innovate, 
there's a need in the population and uh, they use technology to satisfy that need. Uh, there is a need for putting something out there that shouldn't be out there for if you don't want it to be out there forever. That's what Snapchat's good for. Uh, they got people to realize the value and that's why it becomes so big. And the penetration stage is getting a good proportion to accept the medium and I'd say a great proportion accepts it with all the users, over 100 million users every day. I still think they're at the peak right now because it is as big as it's ever been. They did adapt. It started off as Pictaboo and it wasn't that big but they, they adapted, they changed the name, they updated it and um, now look what they're at. And uh, they even converged different uh, mediums. They take in something that started off as a picture and video app and now it has a way to make phone calls and it has a way to get news out there. It's, I think it's becoming one of the biggest things in social media. Uh, it's become a huge part of the social media world and continues to grow and I believe it will, if it will continue to grow, especially with the younger generation and their technology use. Thanks for watching.